There are times in life when you can do everything right with the best intentions and still have everything go drastically wrong. And that's sort of how I feel right now, if I'm being honest. I just got back from a rental property I manage in Peoria, Illinois, and today started with hope, optimism even. I was there helping my tenant get a brand new washer installed in his unit. Let's ignore the fact that we were doing that because sure, the first washer broke, but we were getting a new washer. Everything was great, silver linings, am I right? Then I went downstairs and this is what I found. Okay, the water under the sink is off, um, but there's a serious leak. I mean, the sink is full. Obviously it's warped quite a bit and it's leaking into the, the dryer, or excuse me, the vent here. So today's video is all about what to do when shit happens. Okay, so let's start with what happened. This is a duplex that I manage in Peoria. It's a converted single family home. So at one point or another, everything was one. There was one water main, one furnace, one electric, one everything, right? But now it's been converted. It's two units, upstairs, downstairs. There's a tenant upstairs. We're in the process of re-renting out the downstairs unit. Because it was a converted unit, there are some things in the building that are shared elements. No different than how it would be constructed in like a condo building with shared plumbing and things like that. And that's exactly what this is. There's a shared plumbing stack. There's actually multiple shared plumbing stacks from bathrooms and the kitchen and things upstairs that come down through similar lines in the first floor unit. And in this case, at some point in the history on the first floor or on the second floor, somebody flushed something, looked like a rag or a piece of a rag that got stuck in the sewer line started backlogging water up through the sewer. And unfortunately, the first point of release was the first floor bathroom sink. So that's what I heard and walked into is water going down in through the plumbing, hitting the sewer clog, backlogging through it, filling the sink, and over time, slowly but surely leaking over and then leaking down onto the floors and leaking down into the vent. Unfortunately, this has been going on for a little bit of time. We've had people coming and going in the unit and we knew there's been a problem. We could tell there was moisture because the floor started to warp. That was the first sign, but we weren't ever able to catch it in action. The sink didn't appear to have a leak. We didn't have active water coming out anywhere. And it's only apparently happening if and when somebody flushes or when water rushes down that drain line and then backlog. So it happens kind of intermittently in a vacant unit. When contractors were in there, when I was in there, nobody was really looking at that. We didn't see it happening. And it just so happened that yesterday when I came in the unit, I caught it in action. And that's how we were able to figure out the source of the water, the source of the warp, the source of everything. <laughs> Fortunately, it's a relatively easy fix. I mean, the damage it left is going to leave a mark and we're gonna be dealing with that for some time. But the actual problem itself, it's a rag, it got clogged in the sewage line. We got in there, we routed it out. The line is clear, we run water, we flush toilets. Everything seems to be working well now. Knock on wood, we shouldn't have any more water issues in that first floor unit due to this issue. It doesn't change the fact that we did have some moisture get out and sit, and we had some moisture go down through that duct, which goes down to the basement. So we had some moisture get down through the basement drywall as well. So there's going to be some repairs needed. We're probably gonna be redoing some of the laminate floors, at least in the warp sections. We're definitely gonna be getting a new vanity as that's warped beyond repair. And we're going to have to check some electrical because we had some outlets down near the floor that may or may not have gotten wet. It's a little difficult to tell, to be honest. So. We're in the process of digging through that and making sure that everything is sound before we get new tenants in this unit. There is a silver lining. This unit wasn't quite rental ready yet. We were in the process of redoing it before changeover anyway. So there's already been contractors coming and going. There's already been some stuff happening in the unit. It's not that difficult to get contractors back in to continue working on things. Obviously, finding water damage is not great, and it is certainly not the highlight of any property manager's day, particularly when I had to let the owner know what was going on. So the first thing to do when you find water is turn the water off. So I turned the water off locally at the sink to make sure that that wasn't our problem. 
when it still seemed to be draining or filling, even though those water lines were completely capped, I shut the water off at the water main just to make sure we didn't have new water coming in. Thankfully, I know great contractors in Peoria. We got a plumber on site within a half hour. He came, routed the line, got everything cleared. We cleaned up the floors. We're now just drying everything out. Hopefully, this is the last time we're going to see this type of damage. But this is the type of stuff you have to plan for as a property manager or as a landlord or really anytime you're dealing with not just tenants, but vacant spaces. This could happen in your home as well. And it's not anybody's fault that it happened other than I guess whoever flushed whatever that inanimate object was. But I don't think that they did so maliciously. I think that this is just a result of well, misunderstanding what does and does not fit down the toilet. Friendly reminder to you, if you're planning ahead or if you're planning, you know, my owner is now taking on thousands of dollars in costs to get the floors reset and to get a new vanity and to make sure the electric is working. So I'm happy that there was a contingency fund set aside so that we're not sunk as soon as this one, literally, as soon as this water started happening. It's a great reminder of why you do have funds aside. It's also a great reminder of why you need to be checking vacant properties. This is also a great reminder of why I took so much time interviewing local resources in Peoria to make sure they could help me on site knowing that I wasn't going to be there every single day. Peoria is far away, but I still feel comfortable managing that property because I have assets there who can check on it for me. So with this, for example, we knew there was an issue. I've already had people in there several times this week checking on it. Just so happens I was the lucky one who walked in and caught it in action so that we could get it corrected quickly. But it would have been caught by somebody at some point in time. And that's way different than if a property is sitting vacant and you check in maybe once a month. I mean, this could have been weeks of water damage that really would have had a drastic impact on the property versus catching it in action and hopefully stopping it within the first few times that it happened. So that's what I have. I don't know if this video is a rant or maybe just me needing to express my frustration with the day. Hopefully it's helpful for you because this could happen to anybody. And if I have some takeaways for you, I guess, number one, don't flush big things down the toilet. Number two, do know where your water shutoff valve is because it came in handy today. Number three, if you have contacts who can get there quickly to solve things, things like plumbers, electricians, handymen, they will come in handy. Might not be today, but there will come a day when you need them and you want to work on those contacts now. What stories do you have? I'd love to hear. I'm sure that I'm not the only person who has had a nightmare while managing property. Let's all swap some horror stories and hopefully learn from them. If you found this video useful, send it to somebody else, like, subscribe. I'm releasing new content all the time, hopefully not always about water leaks in my properties, but new exciting things are coming. Thank you for checking it out and I'll see you next time.